Hello Capricorns, it's your girl Prissy here to do your love readings. This is for November to December. So we're going to do uh, the first half of the month, see what's going on. The second half of the month, see what it's, whoa, what's going on there. And then um, how we're leaving the month, okay? We're going to do some friendly reminders as I shuffle your cards. And I don't know, yeah, we're going to see what's going on. So, friendly reminders that tarot for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you are interested in a personal reading, click that description box down below. Uh, we also have webinars starting in December. So, if you would like to learn um, about tarot, crystals, whatever. If you want to learn of Prissy, feel free to check it out, okay? First things that are coming up. We have our two of cups here. But we also have a five of pentacles. And then we have a high priestess in reverse. So let's go into it. We're going to clarify, okay? We have a bunch of cards that did not flip. So we're going to clarify that. And um, let's clarify these things. Someone might tell you that you might find out someone has more financial issues than you had anticipated. Okay. Um, it's kind of, it just word vomit. It all comes out at once. And now you have to find a way to kind of find a balance. You have to see how you guys can make this work. You have to figure out what your options are because someone might have even lost their job and maybe didn't tell you until it all just came out at once. Now, what do you do? I see someone is trying to apply. They're looking up what to do. They're trying to apply, but they have to start from scratch. So it requires, like, you have to completely walk away from one thing. My screen was about to turn off. Um, you have to completely turn away from, or walk away from one thing. And it's like, you might have to take care of your partner because your partner just lost their job. They don't, there's nothing that they can do about it right now. So, going into two of cups here, you do love this person, you do, they are like your best friend, you do um, support them in many ways, but are you willing to support this? That's what you're trying to figure out, I don't know, I don't know if I can take this on. It just, we're not on the same page right now. And I don't know if I even am able to take on your stuff. I wasn't expecting this to take on your stuff on top of mine. I'm stressed the fuck out too now. This could mess up everything for us. For some of you, this could make us lose our home. So we have some drama going on here. But I think you do try to help them. Or, you know, take on the load. Because I see you going to work a little bit more. Alright. Uh, second half of the month. Second half of the month, this feels like someone is being a little reckless with their money management or something like that. And it's creating problems in the household. You're not trusting them. You have to handle your responsibilities and you're not trusting them now, right? They can be spending money on going out and drinking a lot because I do see in combo here someone's like trying to have too much fun. They're trying to, they're drinking. Um, but it does feel like, you know, I talked about the job thing earlier. So what are they waiting for? Who's waiting for what? They're just waiting for a new job to fall on their lap. You gotta go get it. What you mean? They're like, oh, something will come along. We're just going to drain the money in the meantime. And you're like, what? I can't live like this. This is not. <laughs> no. This is not how this is going to work. 
So you're still going through this second half of the month. Are we changing anything? Like what's going on? One person now has to put in more work than the other. This shit is not equal. And now you feel like you're stuck. Great. Now what are we going to do? Now I really can't fucking go anywhere. Right? Now I can't do anything. So are we getting a solution to this problem or like what's going on? Someone's drinking. That's the second time I picked up on drinking. Someone's drinking too much. And someone's putting an end or like putting a stop, putting their foot down. I think before they were still drinking before, but now that for whatever reason, someone lost their job or a source of income, something like that. Now it's like, oh, we are not doing this shit. Now I have to put my foot down. So how are we leaving them on? Leaving the month, someone's drinking. This is, um, an addiction. This is an addiction. You have the devil right with the five of cups. Another person is like just trying to manage, but they don't really know how to. I do see them reaching out to a lot of people or facilities or something like that to help whoever has the addiction get to have like a fresh start. So this could be like a rehab or something like that. Let's pull a couple more cards for how we're leaving. This is happening out of love. This person is my person. This person is my match. And I do love this person, but right now we're not we're not where we need to be. So I have to do this cuz I love my partner. I know it's the right choice. It's either that or I walk away. It's like we're at that point. Go to rehab or, you know, whatever it is, or I leave. See? Either you go or I go. Regardless, end of this month, major changes happening, okay? I do see them putting in the effort, um, but it's, you know, it, it takes time, okay? Um, but you have death card here, so it's a make it or break it for someone's relationship, honestly. All right, so that's going to be your reading. Until next time, bye!